Hey, Tiger fans, Mark Fitzpatrick with Tiger Club of Kansas City. Today is Tuesday, March 20th. Our special guest speaker today, Ben Arnett from the Mizzou Sports Network. Ben, thanks for coming up. Good, good, thanks. Ben, uh, both uh, men's and women's basketball fell out in the first round last week, but you have to look back. Those were two pretty successful seasons. Yeah, two great seasons, and, uh, you know, I really like the directions that, that these programs are under. You know, Robin and Conzo, they're such hard workers. And, uh, you know, I said it talking to everybody here a little while ago, but, you know, I know there's disappointment in the women's program right now, but I also know that the exact response is going to be immediately, let's get to work, let's, let's get to work, let's fix what, what went wrong, um, let's get healthy and let's turn it, turn it towards next season. I think people already saw, you know, the day after uh, the men's team lost, Konza was already out, out recruiting. That's just the mentality mm -hmm. that they both have. What can I do right now? What can I do today right now? to make Mizzou basketball better. And to me, that's really encouraging because there's so much coming back next season for both teams, and uh, especially for Robin's team. You gotta look forward to a senior season of Sophie Cunningham. You got one of the best players in the country. You got a lot of other pieces coming back. You know they're well coached. You know the support is there. The attendance just keeps growing. You know, bright futures for both teams. Talk about, we're wrapping up the winter sports season. Mizzou finishes sixth nationally in wrestling. Uh, women's swimming, mm -hmm. nationally ranked. Gymnastics, nationally ranked. But I want to talk about one athlete in particular. I think you know where I'm going, uh -huh. Carissa Schweizer. Five national champions now. Arguably one of the greatest athletes, maybe the greatest athletes in Mizzou history. Definitely one of the greatest. You know, the, 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 the thing about her is, nicest person in the world. Absolutely nicest person in the world. Completely unassuming. I interviewed Mark Burns, the cross-country coach, probably about three weeks ago. And I said, what's the one word you use to describe her? And he said, she's a killer. That's the attitude she takes to it. She is absolutely dead set on what she wants to do and will go out and achieve it no matter what. One of her SEC titles was with the uh, a team title, the Distance Medley Relay mm -hmm. SEC Championships. She was the anchor. When she took the baton, Mizzou was 70 meters behind. Oh, wow. <laughs> Closed it and won the thing. The, the <laughs> looks on the faces of the kids that she was passing, they were just demoralized. There was nothing they could do about it. She, she trains impeccably. She has the killer instinct. She has the attitude. And I think even more is ahead for her in the future. And, and the really awesome thing is, you know, I think in the years to come, the whole country is going to get to root for Carissa Schweitzer because I think she might have an Olympic, an Olympic future ahead of her also. Tell us about what you have coming up with the uh, spring sports. Well, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of baseball and softball. Uh, for anybody that streams games on SEC Network Plus, we'll be doing a, a, a ton of baseball and softball. Uh, and I'll be on the call this weekend uh, for Mizzou and Mississippi State. Next weekend, we'll have Mizzou and LSU softball, and it'll just keep rolling every single weekend after that. You'll, you'll have either a baseball series or a softball series. Um, baseball's off to a great start. You know what they're doing? They are picking up the strategic wins that they need to bolster their profile and their resume to be a tournament team. They're, they're going there and, and, and they're taking one out of three at LSU mm -hmm. in the toughest place to play in America, or one of the toughest places to play in America. They got a midweek win over Miami. They're sweeping teams at home that they need to sweep in the non-conference. Uh, they'll come home this weekend for a Mississippi State team. Probably got to take two out of three, maybe get a sweep there. They rise to the occasion. They're picking up these little wins. They had a midweek win over Wichita State. Mm -hmm. Grind it out, shut out Wichita, almost shut out Wichita State. Grind it out a big win there over over a team that's highly respected. And softball setting up to do the same thing. You know, I know that, that, that it's been a, a, a tough start to the season for them. But they've really kept their heads down. You know, they got a, a, a top 25 win over, over Mississippi State, their second weekend of conference play. They got more huge series coming up. They got the toughest schedule in the country. Number one rated toughest schedule in the country. The 23rd in the first RPI that came out. So they're right there. And if they can, again, pick up those strategic wins, uh, take one out of three here and there against some of those top 10 teams in, in, in the country that are in the SEC, and, and pick up wins where they can, They'll be right there, and you could see the SEC send all 13 to the tournament once again in softball. All right, there's no rest for this guy. He's working all year <laughs> round. Ben, thank Labor you. Love. Thanks for coming up from Columbia today yep. to spend your day with us. Hey, folks, our last luncheon of the year will be next Tuesday, and we'll have as our guest speaker Kansas City sportscasting legend Frank Bull. For more information, check us out on kctigerclub.com. 
You can follow us on Twitter at KC Tiger Club, and Ben is at Ben Arnett MU. Yep. yep. All right, check him out. Thanks for uh, listening in.